This will be a tutorial on transitive closure, uh, computing it with uh, a variation of the floyd warshall algorithm. We'll quickly go over uh, how it works, what transitive closure is. We'll go over pseudocode, and we'll describe the running time. So it computes transitive closure, meaning all pairs of vertices, Vs, in a directed graph such that S is reachable from V. So an example of transitivity is that if A reaches B and B reaches C, then A reaches C. Now suppose you have uh, an edge from A to B and an edge from B to C, but you don't have one from A to C. Well, this algorithm is going to recognize that there's a transitive property from A to C and it'll insert a new edge there. So this algorithm uses dynamic programming in the sense that we iteratively produce better and better approximations to the transitive closure as we add edges to a graph with full transitive closure. So we'll have this floyd warshall algorithm accept a graph G, and then we'll let V1, V2, etc., all the way to Vn, be an arbitrary numbering of the vertices of G. And so we'll create a graph G0, which will equal our starting graph. Now, from K1 to N, G at K will equal G at K minus 1. So we're going this is how we're producing better and better approximations like we're producing different graphs here um so two for loops from i equals 1 to n for j equals 1 to n if both edges vi vk and vk vj are in the graph gk minus 1 so like we said if uh edge a b and b c are in the the graph g k minus one then we look at the next graph if g k does not contain the directed edge v i v j or you might call it v a v c then we'll add that directed edge and so you can see how each graph g k is going to be a little bit better a little bit better approximation than gk minus 1 was. And then we'll return gn, whatever that is. So that'll be the graph with full transitive closure computed. And so the running time is pretty easy. There are three nested for loops iterating from 1 to n, where n is the number of vertices. So the running time is order n cubed, as you can see here. So that's how we compute transitive closure using a variation of the Floyd-Warshall algorithm.